What a shed it can be said, our home place. Throughout the history of the Bunch River watershed, forestry has played a major role. Whether it is the providing of jobs through logging in related industries, or heating a home on a cold winter night, the forest has sustained families for generations. Uh, I'm running a family business that's been part of our family history since uh, 1962. It was founded by my father, William Hall, and over the course of his, uh, his life, he uh, assembled uh, a privately held forest uh, by accumulating, buying, buying old uh, farms that were going out of production and old woodlots that uh, were being uh, uh, transferred from one generation to the next. And uh, he saw opportunity and, uh, and value in those, those land uh, parcels as a place to grow trees. With demand for energy ever on the increase, Renewable forms of producing electricity will play an ever-increasing role in Ontario's production. So I see a tremendous opportunity and, uh, and a great fit for everybody in our region and myself in terms of being able to uh, uh, start being helpful in, uh, in addressing the issue of how we're going to provide long-term sources of renewable energy. And also uh, I see the forest as a, as a great great uh, producer of uh, forms of, of materials that can be used for a broad range of things, ranging from building houses and furniture and uh, uh, warm and comfortable uh, furnishings in our houses through to uh, everyday products which provide help, help with sanitation and clean up around houses uh, and uh, onwards to uh, uh, various things that replace uh, products that need to be made out of non-renewable uh, inputs like plastic and steel and concrete. The products that the forest can provide are not restricted to building materials and fuel for our furnaces. The future may see the wood from our forests being transformed into a wide range of energy products. As one goes down the path of attempting to uh, target and, and remove the poorer quality trees that are crowding out the better ones, the uh, piles of those wood products at the side of the road get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so what we've seen is a, is a kind of an historic change in the, in the markets for these poor quality trees. People are, uh, are much more comfortable looking at uh, news on the internet uh, or email uh, nowadays than they are with purchasing a newspaper made out of paper. And that has had uh, dramatic impacts on the, on, the, uh, exist, on the fortunes of the pulp mills and paper mills that uh, have previously populated the area. And as a result, we're having a tremendous challenge with finding places to sell these poorer quality trees. An option that we should be considering as a society is the notion of uh, diverting a lot of this, uh, this woody material uh, into a form of, of energy. It can be made into heat, it can be made into electricity, and the research is, is on in a big way to find ways of converting this wood into uh, things like uh, automotive transportation fuels and, and other uh, derivative chemicals, which are, uh, are suitable replacements for uh, things that come out of uh, unsustainable uh, sources of, uh, of energy, like oil wells and natural gas wells and uh, the like. As is the case with most living things, trees are susceptible to diseases. Since the late 1960s, Ontario's butternut trees have been plagued by an invasive fungus known as the butternut canker, named so because of the cankers infected trees form under their bark. Behind me is a butternut tree. Uh, this is an example of a, of a tree that forms part of the uh, population of uh, plants and animals in Ontario that are listed as, as uh, species at risk. And, uh, as a result, uh, this tree is, uh, is living here behind me uh, uh, after the harvest. Uh, I was prohibited from, uh, from removing it during the harvest because it is a part of the species at risk legislation. The reason that the butternut tree is, is listed on the uh, species at risk registry is that it has been affected by a very uh, lethal uh, form of, um, of, vir or of uh, fungus. It's called a butternut canker and it's transmitted uh, via spores through the air 
and uh, it originally started in the uh, middle U.S. states, I believe in Virginia, back in the 1960s, and has migrated uh, northward and is now found uh, throughout uh, eastern Ontario. Or Certainly there are, there's evidence of it right around here. The uh, canker is uh, apparently fatal to trees, and uh, the idea of the legislation is to try and preserve every butternut tree, uh, pretty much regardless of... Uh, of its health uh, uh, to uh, at least get it inspected uh, by a, a third-party biologist or trained uh, butternut inspector uh, in case it's the one that might have genetic resistance to the canker. Throughout the over 200 year logging history of the Bonter River watershed, the industry has evolved to overcome challenges through innovative inventions and cultivation practices. The future holds the promise of the wood from our forests being transformed into a wide range of products, helping to preserve the environment through sustainable practices. Watershed, it can be said, our home place. The clouds, the hills, our roof, our halls, and simple truth of watershed